welcome 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 to my channel i'm in a little village called oxted specifically it's called the 10 mile oxted loop oxted is a small village in surrey and it's a very old village the plan is to do at least part of the 10 mile loop and then string up a tarp somewhere there's some forest there's a common sort of east of the village string up a little tarp cook a little bit of lunch and just show you guys around so oxted indirectly means place where the oaks grew and so just kind of looking around it's a lot of kind of beech trees some oaks and then a lot of silver birch as well and loads of these ferns reminds me a lot of the lake district i'll start the walk it's a relatively flat walk it's gonna be quite mixed so a bit of forest a bit of open sort of public pathways really um, but I'll take you along the journey classic dilemma coming up if you go right or left there's no one to play with I'm gonna go right I'm going right executive decision made okay th so this is sort of getting a bit residentially in this in probably the next mile or two it's called limpsfield chart and it looks like there's some houses and stuff there then we get through there go through some forest and then it goes up into a place called Crockham Hill Common so that's probably about three or four miles so I'm hoping I'll be able to string up a bit of a bivvy get the string up a bivvy string up a tarp and get the bush box out cook some lunch as lovely as this is really can't wait to get out camping it's been a long long time and I think everyone's got their eyes on the 4th of July which is when for those people in the UK, it's when sort of the hospitality sector is due to open at the earliest. So that's kind of where everyone's thinking the camping will be allowed. So fingers crossed, it's very soon now. I've got to be quick here because people are playing golf. So we're right, as I said, it's quite, uh, there's a road right there and there's a golf course sort of right here. So. I mean, beautiful, really beautiful area. Huge houses driving into here. It's, we're about 45 minutes outside of where I live in London. A um, lovely area, really, really nice. And I'm just, it's just great to get, great to get out, do a bit of a walk. I've not done one of these for a while, so I'll probably start gassing soon. Different kind of fitness to, hiking fitness is different. See if you agree with me, put some comments in the below. Hiking fitness is different. You can run all you like, but this is a different, different kind of fitness. Excuse the wind. We've opened up into this farmer's field. Stunning view. Sorry, hills. Maybe having a good time. It's got quite roady. Just a small stretch. We follow the road and then we turn right up into the common through some woodland. Such an amateur. The this was digging in, and I was thinking, why is this digging in? And the strap was twisted. I'm still used to the old pack, you see. I had an osprey talon before this. So readjusted now. So we're back among the trees. I think there's a slight gradient now. We go up into a place called the high chart. So into the forest. And then, so it's east of the village of Oxted and Limpsfield. Then we go up into, eventually into Crockenwell Common, if I'm not mistaken. Slightly, probably three miles further on. And that's kind of the apex or the 
the sort of the furthest east point of the loop and then we're back we go back on ourselves i'm going to try and find somewhere now to to sit and have a spot of lunch get the books get the bush box out see if we can find somewhere so there's enough it's quite de quite dense woodland but um i think we'll be able to find somewhere This is off the beaten track. Six foot tall fern trees. Beautiful. I'm trying to find a trying to find a spot. Keep going, keep going. Okay, I found somewhere among all the tall ass ferns and beautiful trees there's a little kind of opening slightly Right, so we're set up, so I've just strung up a simple tarp. I've used the cord, two walking poles, just to tie each end of the tarp, and then I've tied it around each tree, just to give me a simple shelter. It's not supposed to rain, but who knows, who knows? There was a little bit of rain this morning, so just in case. And it's nice to have a bit of shelter. I've set everything up. I've just got some basic stuff. As I said, I'm gonna cook some lunch. I'll show you what gear I've got. I know what you're thinking. It's not the most camouflage of tarps, but it's cool, I like it. Little grey number. So here's my gear. Down here, so we've got plenty of water. About a litre and a half of water there. Banana. Got my cook pots, so I'm going to probably make a hot drink. You know I love the coffee. Got the frying pan to do some cooking on. I've got some pre-cut wood. I'm not gonna ch start chopping up sticks and stuff here. So that just gives me a little bit of a base to, to start the cooking with. And I've got the original bush, bush box. So it's this one here. You, you might have seen this before in some of my other videos. So this is kind of this, I believe the first bush box. Now there are two more. So you, you've got the folding, sort of the medium sized one and then the extra large version. So this is the smaller one with hindsight. I probably should have got the larger one. Just in terms of packability, it folds down. down. You can fold it, whereas this one, I never actually, I never actually take it apart because it's it's quite like I guess the metal warps to a degree, so it's quite hard to kind of take apart, and it, it eventually folds down flat. But I just generally leave it in this state and just take it with me like this. I've got my fire lighter cubes. They're just those small kind of tiny cubes that you will have seen that just make lighting a fire much easier. And I went through all of my lighter fluid trying to light basically these things and it just, it's, it's not gonna work because they're too large. So I, I fortunately there's some silver birch around here and I was able to, to collect some silver birch bark, scrape some of the dust off of that and just slowly get it, get the fire going. But that probably took about an hour. Um, so that was a lot harder than it looked, but good learning experience. Anyway, the pork shoulders are on, or the pork medallions. Cooking nicely, so I'm going to tuck into them in a minute. I managed to get some dried fern and just ruffled it up a little bit. 
just to dry it out a little bit more. There's not a lot of the kind of foliage around here is, is very damp because there's not much sun coming through. So even the birch bark was very sort of um, wet. So it took a while to get that going, but succeeded. Mm, cooked. <laughs> oh, that tastes so good. <laughs> the amount of effort that took just to get the fire lighted. So I'm, yeah, I'm super happy that that's worked. Yeah, tip is probably get a slightly larger one for those kind of things. If, if they were kind of, maybe if it was like pork belly slices or bacon as fine eggs, if it's something that substantial, it, it's taken like sort of 35 minutes to cook it properly. So, but delicious, needs a bit of hot sauce. Right, that was lovely. Nice bit of food, nice water, no coffee for once, and a nice banana again like the last video it's time for me to pack up now so i'm going to get rid of this stuff leave no trace and all that and i'll bring you back in a sec right all packed away just my bag of rubbish which i'm going to take with me leave no trace and my pack down there things i've learned are don't forget your fuel capsules because without those tough to get a fire going especially when there's not much light coming through this canopy and it's, it's, everything's quite damp. So I've got a shout out to do actually. So shout out to Ant Phillips and his three daughters, Ellie, Evie and Ebony. Shout out to you guys, hello. Um, it's very sweet that he asked me to do that. So yeah, happy to do, to do shout outs. And um, I really hope that I've got your daughter's names correct there, mate. So yeah, thanks for watching and all that stuff. Right, I'm gonna try and get out of this place. Look at these ferns over here. They're absolutely, they're huge. So I'm six foot four, six foot five, and these are coming up to my neck on the way in. So absolutely enormous. All right, let's get going. Let's find, I'm gonna head back to the main path. It's about a three mile walk back to the car. Once I get onto the main path, which is another probably half a kilometer, it's quite close. Right guys, I think that's where I'm gonna end it, just on the way back to the car. So don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. Hit the thumbs up if you like the content. Hit the bell notification so every time a video is released, you'll get a notification. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all the comments. Drop some comments below. I love sort of responding to all of the comments and talking to you guys about what kit you use and what you think of the videos. So I'll see you on the next video. Take care everyone. Cheers.